Okay, so we've seen how much of a success Jadon Sancho was at Dortmund. Then he made a massive move to Manchester United. And in today's episode, we're going to start our process over again. And that's right then, in today's episode, we are signing the next Jadon Sancho, guys. We already know who we're going to sign. We've got 70 million in the transfer budget. Let's go out right now and find out who it is. And here he is then, guys. Jadon Braff currently dubbed as the next Sancho after leaving Man City to join Dortmund for free. In this career mode, we're not going to get him for free. We're going to have to pay, but look at these stats already. Age 18, 65 rated. We can definitely make him the next Sancho. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. And we have already done some business in the first episode. Adiemi coming in. Again, he's already joining Dortmund in real life after Haaland left. Amazing player. So glad we get to use him in this career mode. Before we go any further, if you guys are looking forward to it, don't forget, drop me a like, hit the subscribe button. And let's get into the comments. But here we go then into the first comment, which says, At the left wing, you can sign Gabriel Martinelli as an excellent left winger. He grows speedily and he's excellent for a team like Dortmund. And you know what then, guys? I think there is space in this team for another winger. Right now, Hazard is 28. Doesn't mean I'm looking to sell him. Doesn't mean he's too old. But what I'm saying is, Martinelli could definitely come in because Jaden Braff, when we sign him, he can't come straight into the team 65 rated. And we're looking for someone for this right wing position. Now, Hazard... We could put him over to the right. He's got a five-star weak foot. Port Martin lay out on the left. That is something I'm interested in. Okay, straight into the next one then, which says Koval is a very good keeper. He has 87 or 88 potential and he can grow fast. And you know what then, guys? I don't know why in the first episode, when I was looking at the squad and I was looking at Koval, I was thinking Koval, Berkey, yeah, we can do a little bit better. I don't know why, because Koval, I agree, 23 is really young for a goalkeeper. And he's 83 rated already. This guy's not going anywhere. He's staying in the team. Berkey again. He can pretty much stay for now as the backup. And now here we go then into the final one, which says you should buy Nicholas Sewell and Slotterbeck. Is that how you pronounce his name? I think it is. As they are moving to Dortmund this summer. And you know what then? I'm really liking the idea that Dortmund is doing pretty much all the transfer business for us. I mean, Adiemi already bringing in. Jaden Braff coming in. Nicholas Sewell, Slotterbeck. I mean, I don't even have to think of the signings. Dortmund are making them in real life. But Nicholas Sewell... 85 rated centre back, something we need. Hummels is now what 32, he's gonna start declining soon. Slotterbeck as well. Don't know too much about him. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I know everything because I don't. But we're gonna scout him and see what he's like. Okay, so the plan in today's episode, I think looking at the calendar right now, we've got two games coming up. Of course, gonna play both Hoffenheim, Freiburg, two really big teams. Deadline day coming up, but I think I'm gonna stick to the rule. Two signings in the summer, one signing in January. I think we'll stick with that. And of course, then, if we are going to stick to that rule, out of Jaden Braff, Nicholas Sewell, and Slotterbeck, I do want to sign Jaden Braff. Now, you're probably thinking, why waste it? Not waste it, but if I've got one more signing to make, why not sign Nicholas Sewell? Because right now, I think our centre-backs are okay. I mean, Hummels, Akanji, doing a really good job for us. Obviously, Zagadou, got to try work him into the team at some point. But I'd rather get Braff into the team, get him on a development plan, and get him growing as fast as possible. But I know what you guys are probably thinking, enough talking, just go and sign him. Yeah, we're going to sign him right now. So between 1.8 and 2.3, I mean, we can probably just offer 1.8 and just get a deal over the line. It's going to be interesting to see. I want to have a look at his stats in depth. Is he, has he got a weak foot out of anything? Okay, there you go. Yeah, 1.8 accepted straight away. And now into the contracts. It's been interesting to see how much he's on a week at Man City. I can imagine it's below 10,000. Okay, 10,000, bang on, okay. Um, squad roll. Do I go prospect or rotation? I think we go prospect. I hope he doesn't walk out. I mean, we do have time. If he does, sporadic. Uh, he's looking to be not sat on the bench all season and getting plenty of... Okay, you know what? That's fine. I'm fine with that. As long as it's not rotation, because I don't think I can offer that. Four-year deal. Going to push for five years, of course. Um, yeah, done. And now into the release clause. We're going to give one, because I feel like it suits, you know, it suits Dortmund, right? Yeah, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. I don't want to make the mistake of giving him a pound release clause like we did in a different career mode. But 100 million, 5.6. You know what? That's fine because we can give him, a, give him a new contract before the season ends. That's fine. Even if we do sell him, we've quadrupled our money, tripled our money. Uh, wages wise, okay, so he's on 10,000. I might just up that to 12 and a half. And then signing on, give him 150k. That's, that's too much, isn't it? 100k. 100k. Submit that offer. Let's see what they say to that. Okay, yeah, they agree. So 150 was going to be too much. 100k does the job. And here we go then, guys. Our new signing is finally here into the team. Let's have a look at kit numbers because I can't give him the number 7 because Reina has that. Now, at a quick look online, Sancho has wore the number 18 for Dortmund's under 19s. We're going to give him the number 18. Here we go. 17 available. We'll give him number 18. And there we go. Okay, so the next part then is the development plan. We need to get this right because if we don't, we could honestly mess up this guy's future. We don't want that. We want to sell him on for big money in the upcoming season. So in terms of development plan, 
You don't have to be the same as Sancho. What I mean by that, you don't have to have the identical stats. Just the same as Sancho in terms of coming from Man City, English, blah, 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 blah. So, into this right now. Inverted winger seems the best option, but also... I'm looking at some other stats here. Passing, support winger, wouldn't be a bad option just to start him on. Although, you know, wide playmaker, increase them skill moves, wide winger. I think for now, we'll go inverted winger. You guys let me know if we should even put him on maybe a right wing development plan and convert him. Okay, so that does conclude our summer transfer business. However, we can sign one player in January and I think that will be Nicholas Sewell and then Slotterbeck. We can sign him, get him ready for the next season. Okay, so last episode, we did go ahead and sell Axel Witzel to Wolves. We got 10.5 added to the budget. Our budget right now is 69.5. So we've got plenty of money to work with. Bellingham, Emre Chan, and Dahoud are our three midfielders. Kamara going to look to loan him out. And I think for now, we'll see how we get on with them three midfielders. I'm pretty sure Marco Royce, if we needed him to, could do a job maybe at centre mid. Let's have a see. Yeah, he could do a job at centre mid. So I feel like we're okay. And now let's go ahead and get to our first game in today's episode. Last episode, we started off in the German Super Cup against Bayern. We were leading 1-0. And for some reason, it's saying we haven't played it. We did play it. Uh, we lost on penalties, unfortunately. But then we went to the Bundesliga, took on Frankfurt. Obviously, a very strong side. We got the win. A late comeback. 1-2-1. Now into our next game, which is going to be tough. I am wondering, do I put Jaden Braff on the bench for this game? I mean, I want to see how he plays, but at the same time, I don't want to weaken the bench. I mean, we've got Wolf there at the moment. Will he come on? Probably not. Um, You know what? I, I, I really don't know. Maury, I want to give him some game time. I want to see how he is. I think for now, we'll just focus We'll just focus on getting three points. So let's get three points. Let's get six points on the table. Then we'll see where we are after that. Let's look at the kits as well. Change that. We don't want to play in our home kit. Can we play in our way? Yeah, of course we can. There we go. That's perfect. Here we go. Freiburg. We know we're a good side. Let's get into it. And I feel like this career mode so far has been all about Haaland finding his replacement, Jenin Sancho. And we not really spoke about Jude Bellingham, which is... Crazy to think about it. I mean, age 18, 82 rated. I mean, you can't really get a better youngster than that at the moment. But here we go. Let's see if we can just find a ball through. Go on, on a turn. Royce, and it's blocked. And a free kick or a penalty. What are we getting right now? What are we getting? I, I want to say a penalty. Free kick wise, we're not great. I'm not... Penalty. Okay, I'll take that. Six minutes in. We've got to get it in. We've got to score this. Here we go, Marco Royce. You know what? Top right, this one. This one is going top right. Okay, here we go. Actually, what is his stats? 70, 79 pen. Yeah, we had this last episode. Here we go. Go on, Royce. You've got that in. You've got that... He saved. He saved, guys. Hazard, what a header. What a header. Oh, go on. Keep going. We can keep going with this. Hazard, hit that. Oh, okay. Straight to the goalkeeper. Again, decent build-up. Starting to like it. Adiemi making really great runs. Oh, please no. Please no. Please no. How are we going to go down? How are we going to go down 24 minutes in? We have been dominating. I feel like we've been really dominating in this game in the first 20 minutes at least. Freiburg have had possession probably for the, I won't say the first time in this game, but you guys get my point. And they took the lead, which is quite annoying, I'm going to be honest. We are away from home, but here's the here's the build-up. Again, great ball through. I think that's a Kanji trying to catch up, and it's not good enough. There we go, Royce out wide. Come on, we're looking for a goal here. Munier, great play. A little crossover, trying to find Hazard. Okay, it's Brandt here. Brandt can win that. Brandt can win that. It's one there, though. How, how, how are we open at the back like this? No... No, not again. Wow. Freiburg, I've got to be honest, are kind of ripping me apart. I've got to be honest. What? 2-0 down on the counter. They're on. They're playing on the counter at home, which, again, I've got no problem with. If that's their playstyle, that's their playstyle, but it's working. As you can see, Hummels can't catch up, and I thought maybe what if I switch to a Kanji and run across? Nah, I'm not catching up. Here we go. Julian Brandt looking to work a little bit of magic. Marco Royce. Looking for someone. No one really offering themselves up. A little crossover. Adiemi back. Oh, go on. Royce win that. Royce. He does. Adiemi. Go on. Oh, go on. Win that. Oh, come on. You guys can see we're trying. Right. Let's not let them score. Yeah, I thought so. Bellingham. Just get out the pitch. Can we get another chance? Okay. Half time. Two down. That was poor. I, I think, honestly, if we took our chances better, we would be the team 2-0 Okay, so I just want to see the player performance so far. I want to start judging some of the subs off this. I mean, Cobal 6.3. I mean... I can't really sub Kobol off, can I? But I'm looking more at Emre Chan and Bellingham. Julian Brandt, 6.9. Hazard, and yeah. You know what, guys? It's just been one of them games so far. No one is playing great, and no one's really playing too bad. Emre Chan, Julian Brandt, out wide, out wide. Okay, Adiemi made a great run, but it looks a little bit difficult getting it to him. Guerrero on the overlap. Cross in. Brandt. Oh, again, it's easy. Easy cleared. To be honest, I shouldn't be really crossing it in for Brandt to head it. 
Emre Chan trying to find a pass forward. Can't get it there. Emre Chan. The pass is across. Space. Space has opened up. Guerrero hits it. Oh, straight to goalkeeper. I expected him to at least try and trouble him. Okay, I don't know how that's just worked. Brandt, play that over. There you go. What a ball. What a ball. Julian Brandt. Again, Freiburg. It's, it's great defending. I mean, let's be honest. Let's say it how it is. Their defending in this one has been top, top tier, really. Let's be honest. Their passing, maybe not so much. Um, Michael Royce across. What a ball. Chan. Is he offside? And it doesn't matter because he's missed the target. Okay, please no. Please no. Oh, Hummels. What a header. What a header. Emery Chan. Let's go. Adiemi, this is what we need. This is what I needed. This is what I've needed. Adiemi, knock that forward. Oh my, he's in behind. He's in behind. Just keep going. Roll that. Roll that. Finish. Oh, someone should have been there to get the loose ball. I'm telling you now, someone should have. Okay, Bellingham. Bellingham hits it. And it's another penalty. It's another penalty. We've got lucky here. We have got really, really lucky. And, okay, it's a great chance to at least get a goal back. And we're going to make some changes. Because, of course, what we're doing just isn't working. Marco Roy, instead of going top corner now, we're going bottom right. Make it hard for the keeper. Here we go. Bang. Dig. Are you actually for real? Are you actually... Are you actually kidding me? Are you actually kidding me in this game? We cannot score a penalty. Oh, we're caught out again. We're caught out at the back again. Unless we get a tackle in. Koble almost an own goal. Right, let's get some changes made. Let's get these changes on. Uh, let's get Marlon on. Okay, I'm not afraid to say that. Dahoud, let's get him on as well. And I'm also thinking Rayner because he made a difference in the last one. Brandt's been playing okay. Marco Royce, let's take him off. Let's go like that. Here we go. Let's see how we do now with the changes. Okay, Hazard's got options inside. Somehow, Julian Brandt end up being the one to go back for that. Dahoud plays it out wide. Rayner plays it on. Back to Rayner. Okay, never mind. Even better. Marlon. We can't score. We cannot score. I don't know what it is. We cannot score in this game. Oh, my. Oh, my. What is it with our defence on the counter? And... Okay. Okay. Freiburg going to get a corner. We're going to lose this 2-0. Could be 3-0. Hope it's not free because that, that's just embarrassing. I mean, to lose any game 3-0, I don't just mean the opposition. But there we go. Is that going to be full-time? Another corner? Are you for real? How is that not full-time? Okay, just head this away. Head this away. There you go. Dealt with. Not dealt with. Not dealt with. Clear that. Clear that. Just get this away. Just Okay, there we go. Full-time. 2-0 defeat away from home. Really, really bad. Okay, so after that game, we get another offer for Drew Bellingham. And like I mentioned in the first episode, we are going to sell him at some point. Because that's what Dortmund are going to do in real life, let's be honest. But for now, we're going to keep him this season. And that is a really poor offer. Yeah, so I'm not going to lie then. Disappointed to not get a win in that game. Freiburg obviously took their chances a lot better than us. I mean, we had two penalties, a number of chances, and couldn't score one. So... Fair play. Our next game, Hoffenheim, who are actually above us in the table. Okay, so the scout report has just returned for Slotterbeck. Now, I didn't even notice he was playing in that game against Freiburg. And if he was, then I want him. I want to sign him right now because their defence was on point in that game. Left foot centre back, six foot two. Again, really, really great player. Can't wait to bring him in. And you know what, then, guys? I'm going to put Jaden Braff on the bench, I think. Because you know what? In that last game, I would have liked to bring him on in this right mid position and just see what he can do. I mean, Wolf, I mean, now 26, he's not really going to grow anymore. We could probably look to move him on. Whereas Jaden Braff got bags of potential. Why not give him game time when we can? So he's going to be on the bench. Okay, then let's get into our next one. Taking on Hoffenheim. They're above us in the table. They've got a back five. I'm going to put Zagadou into the first team as well, just to see how he does. I'd like to partner him with Hummels, but I'm just thinking if they hit us on the counter and I've got two centre-backs with less than six, well, one's got 60, one's got 54 pace, I don't want that. So I'm going to partner him up with Akanji. Let's see how he does. And of course, Jaden Braff on the bench. Now, let's get into it. And hopefully this time, get the three points. Okay, this time, we're not messing around. Adeyemi making that run. Okay, Marco Royce tried it. it I, I wasn't too sure it was going to, you know, fall to him. But this time, our defence has to be better. We can't afford to just concede goals like we did. Marco Royce getting the support out wide. Hazard. Adeyemi's in the box. I think he's offside. He might just be. Okay, the box. Uh, the box. The ball doesn't fall, but Munir can get the header. Royce? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, nothing nothing coming from that. Royce just playing a lot of one-twos with Bellingham at the moment. Trying to find a way through this back five. Bellingham. Oh, okay. Okay, I was hoping hoping for a little bit of a wonder goal there. Not going to get one. Zagadou, six foot five as well. So all them headers at the back, he should just win all day long. Hazard. Here we go. Play that. Okay. Out wide. Not bad. Not bad at all. Towards the back post. And it's perfect. There's a goal and it's 1-0. And it's 1-0. Hazard, what a goal. I mean, seriously, what a goal that is. What a cross. Was it Munir or was it actually Julian Brandt? I think it was Munir. And if it is, fair, fair play. Well done, honestly. What a cross that was towards the back post. One little, exactly what we wanted in this game. Played it out wide. It was Munir. 
crossed him. Look at that for a cross. Hazard, again, the volley, amazing. Looking for that second straight away here, Marco Royce. Out wide again, why not? It worked last time. Julian Brandt, a little crossover. Okay, yeah, that's not working. Maybe, maybe it could have. Okay, we just can't seem to get this ball and hold on to it. Hoffenheim, obviously looking for a goal with this build-up play. Got to do better. Zagadou, no, no, no. Right, Zagadou. I'm not being funny, but what are you doing? What are you doing in that situation? Hoffenheim get a goal through something that should not have happened. Our defence, our defence, our defence. I should have just played Hummels. I should have just played Hummels, our best defender. Again here, what's he doing? I'm looking for the pass and he's not playing the pass and they score. Here we go, Bellingham, Royce. Is he on side? That's the question. I think he is. Pass. Oh, looking for that inside to Adeyemi. Imagine, imagine that would have been perfect. That would have been easy 2-1. No, no, no. This is what I feared. Our centre-backs are not quick enough. Although Zagadou does get a job done. Almost commit a foul, I'd say. Like, I mean, he literally took the guy out. Cross coming in. Cross coming in. Head that away. Head that away. Get this away right now. Wow, okay. You know what? <laughs> this is tougher than I thought this game. Again, it's, it's me underestimating teams. Head that away. There you go. There you go. Much, much better. Okay, we can head this on. We might just get another chance here. Adiemi. Oh, okay, never mind. We don't. Okay, hard time. 1-1. One, one. Disappointed, obviously, with the goal we conceded, but I do believe we can win this. Okay, so we win a free kick. Quite a dangerous area here. 38 yards out. Just going to whip this straight in here. There you go. Guerrero, not looking... Okay, okay. It looked all right at the beginning. Then, obviously, no one actually got to the header. Another free kick again. Bellingham getting taken out from... What? How? How? How is that a free kick for them? I... How? Royce plays over the top. Mendy making a transfer to Man City in the build-up to this goal. Julian Brandt, man. Oh, I don't like the look of this. I don't like the look of this. I do not like the look. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's fine now. Royce, okay, Brandt. This is what I'm saying about needing a right winger. We need someone with pace because Brandt is going to get caught right up here. And, of course, he is inside. Do what we can do best to pass. Lay it off again. Finish. How is that not a goal? I'm sorry, but that has to be the goal. Bellingham, you've got to do better today, in my opinion. Adiemi lays it off. Can't score. They're going to make a change. Need this whip straight in. Here you go, Brandt. That's looking good. That's looking good. The header. Why is it when I say that, it never ends well? Um, Akanji. Akanji. Um, okay, we're going to have to play this back and just work our way forward again. I can see runners. I can see that. I can see Chan with a chance. And he's off the bar. Second chance goalkeeper's going to get there. Oh, Adiemi, what a ball. Julian Brandt, can't mess this up now. The touch, the finish, off the bar. I mean, does this game really want me to just not win a game in today's episode? I honestly cannot score. Okay, you know what, guys? Hazard, he had a decent first 45 minutes. Going to take him off. Going to get Jaden Braff on. We're going to see what the 18-year-old, he is 18, yeah, just checking. What the 18-year-old can do in this game. Dahoud is going to come on for Bellingham, just fresh legs. And let's see how we go. There we go, Dahoud plays it up. Marco Royce, Jaden Braff out to the left, back inside. Royce, again, looking for a little bit of support here. Not really getting it. Out to the right. Brandt inside. Oh, come on. Okay, we've still got this. We're still going. We're still going. Passes on. Passes on again. Looking at Jaden Braff. Okay, he made a decent run there. Couldn't find him. Again, just looking at runs. Looking at players positioning. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to find a way past this back five. Brandt. Brandt. Cross is coming in. The header. It's not good enough. No, 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 Kobol. Oh my, thank you. Thank you, Kobol, for that stop. Here we go. Braff, just just run. Just run, Jaden Braff. Lay that over the top. Oh, it's not his best ball. It's not his best ball. It's cleared away. A minute added on. Full time. Disappointed with the draw, I've got to be honest. I'm really disappointed because the goal we conceded, it's not like we conceded some goal where I go, you know what, fair play. Zagadou, I mean, oh. You know what? The game's done. Okay, so just finishing off the episode on deadline day. Just trying to see if we can get some offers in for some loans and get some plays out. Okay, so we have had some offers. Um, This offer, I went ahead and rejected it. Marco Royce, I blocked it. Hummels, I blocked it for now. And Rainier. Rainier? Is that how you pronounce his name? Rainier? Rainier? Some, something like that. Anyway, a loan offer. Kind of accept it. Okay, then, so we've actually just received a pretty interesting offer right now. Okay, I've just actually seen the, the money they're offering. They're offering... Pepe, plus 900k for Julian Brandt. Now, I did say I'm in the market for a right mid. However, Pepe, 26, 80 rated. I feel like we can do better. And if anything, it'll take game time away from Jane and Braff, which I don't want. And to be fair, Brandt has been playing well there in today's episode. So I'm going to reject. Okay, there we go then, guys. Going to finish it there for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop me a like, hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you in the next one.